All right, we're back in the kitchen again. Um, did a little freezer clean out and we found some things that we uh, wanted to utilize a different way. Um, so it doesn't go bad in the freezer, getting freezer burnt, whatever. We figured we could pull out the freeze drying machine and get some, get some stuff freeze dried. Uh, anyway, I picked up some of these divider trays online. My idea with that is I could maybe use these to create our own little granola bars or fruit bars. Um, if we can puree up the fruit that we have and mix in a little oats as a binder to tie it together and maybe put some nuts, chopped nuts in there as well. Um, it'll make kind of a variety type bar that we could take on our hiking trips and road trips and uh, anyway, we could puree that up in a blender and put this in to bind it and get it in the freeze dryer trays and freeze dry it. Uh, hopefully we can find another use for this stuff that's uh, potentially going to go bad in the freezer over time. Uh, we have chopped up uh, peaches from last harvest. We have some pureed strawberries as well as some frozen strawberries in the store. Uh, we found some <laughs> pumpkin pie from dinner or Christmas dinner. Uh, we figured we'd be able to eat these at a later date, but as you can see, nobody's eating them. So we we'll probably do this uh, pumpkin pie bar all by themselves. Uh, anyway, we're going to do some experiments and see how it turns out. All right, that's my first go at this. I don't know portion size of what we want to use with each product yet, but we're just going to experiment with what we have right here. Uh, first things first, I want to chop up some of these cashews. So give me a cup of cashews there. And get them on my little chopping tray here. I'm going to use my little chopper. And we'll just not too much, but chop them up into little bits. Alright, looks like they're all chopped up pretty good right there. A couple of big ones in there still. Okay. So that, that ought to do. Um, get that in a bowl here. So we can put it in a blender or mix it in with our puree later. Perfect. The oats. We need to chop it up because we want to keep it in the full size. We'll get us some oats in there. Give us a cup of oats, a cup of cashews, and then we'll do the uh, the fruit for the rest of it. Hopefully, that's a good mixture. It'll work out good. All right, we're gonna do uh, peach. Peach granola bars with some nut in there. Um, give it some substance. Anyway, I'm going to start out by pureeing these peaches up and get those cut up in the blender and then we'll get them lightly pureed. And then we'll do the mixture and then we'll give it a taste test to make sure it's sweet enough and good enough, just the way it is. If we need to add anything else, we will, but we'll just keep. I'll try it just from raw ingredients first and see how it goes. All right, I sent the peaches through the blender. I just hit the pulse button a few times to get them into a liquid form. Uh, I need to be able to mix some of the nuts and some of the oats in with this. So I'm going to do it in a bowl and then I'll just put it on the trays uh, to do the molds. So I'll do that now. Let's get this, uh, get the peaches in there. And then I want to use about half of the oats, so do about a half cup of the oats. Get those in there. I might need more, but we'll, we'll see how this does first. And then I'll do half of the cashews. And then we're going to stir these all up. We don't want to blend them, we just want to stir them. So it all ties together, it makes like a, a granola looking bar. So it'll be granola with the nut and the peaches. So we'll get those mixed up good and we'll spread them out on the tray. All right, I spread the mixture out on the tray here. This is probably a good 5 8 inch thick on these. Um, 
but get it all pretty smooth the way I want it. And then I'll put my little dividers on there to make individual bars. And just press those in like that. Clean up the edges so I don't have a mess. There's a nut. Okay. Get those pressed down real good right there. I'll clean up the edges and get the rest on there like that. We'll see how it goes. All right, there they are. I can't tip the tray because it's a little runny. So, but anyway, that's what they look like. I put a couple of big ones in here in case you want a big square instead of some small ones. Anyway, we'll freeze those up and freeze dry them and see. Cross our fingers, hope they turn out good. All right, we're gonna do the strawberries again. We'll do them just like we did the, uh, it's like that starting to thaw out a little bit. So I should be able to just stick it in the blender, yeah. I don't even think I need to put it in the blender. I just, I'll just mix it up because it looks like it's already thawed out enough that I can work with it. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put it in a bowl, mix the ingredients, put it on the tray just like I did the peaches. All right, well, there's the strawberry puree. It's still partially frozen. I'm gonna mix the cashews in there, the oats. Mix that together real good. We'll get her on a tray and do the little bar molds. We'll get it in the freezer and I'll do the freeze drying. So hopefully this uh, the oats and the cashews will tie the puree together so it doesn't fall apart when it's freeze dried. That's the idea anyway. We'll see, see how it turns out. Okay, on the tray it goes. Need to mix it up very much, just enough to tie it all together. And when it's all done, I'll try to figure out what the calories are per bar by doing some math of the calories I put in it, dividing it out into the number of bars we're making. All right, that's that. All right, I got them all portioned out. I ran out of small divider so I got this uh, cookie mold from Christmas uh, a little have a little strawberry snowman and then the overage here I'll just let it do its thing and then I'll use that to as a taste test sample area and that's how we'll utilize the overage we need to get rid of these uh, pumpkin pie slices and get those cut up and or blended up in the blender I don't know if this is going to turn out good, bad, or whatever. It's an experiment. Anyway, we'll get all this in the blender and blend it up. And we'll get it on the freeze drying tray and portioned out into pumpkin pie bars. Let's see how it turns out. All right, I got it all scraped and in here in the blender. I'm going to take it in the other room, puree it up a little bit, and I'll bring it right back. All right, I gave it a a couple of pulses on the blender in there. Um, see how it turned out. So yeah, it's like a pumpkin pie puree. <laughs> I'm going to put that into a, a little, little form into these little bars and see how it uh, freeze dries up. I don't know if it'll even work, but I'm going to give it a try. All right, and this is pretty thick, so I don't know that I can pour it into these little molds. So I'm going to put it on the tray first and then put the mold, press the mold into there like I'm using them like a cookie cutter. So we'll see how this turns out. It might be a complete disaster, but we're going to figure it out. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. It's got little chunks in there from uh, from the, the uh, pie crust. So yeah, that'll work. We'll try that. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of those. Cross my fingers that it works. All right, I'll zoom in on this a little bit and see, see what I'm doing here. So I'm making it about a half inch thick, spreading it out nice and smooth. Like so, and then I'll take the mold. Oops. 
and press it on there like that. And I'll do that as I go. Need to spread it out. And then press the mold on there. Mm, it's good. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of them like that. Well, all right, I got that done. It was a little bit of work and a little tedious to get them in there all smooth and level and portioned out without too much mess, but there they are. I'm gonna, little pumpkin pie bars. I think there were five pieces of pie that went in the blender and we got nine bars coming out. So it'd be a little lesser calorie than an actual piece of pie, but anyway, it looked, could be a good little snack for the trail. We're gonna put these in the freezer and get them ready for the freeze dryer to speed up the process. All right, we got everything refroze here. We did a, another batch of uh, pureed spinach greens. And there's the uh, strawberry granola with nut, peach granola with nut, the uh, pumpkin pie, and then I filled the rest of that tray with some frozen strawberries. So I'm going to get these in the freeze dryer, cross our fingers, it'll turn out the way I hope. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, the freeze drying is done, pulled everything out. Here's the spinach, and the strawberries, and these are the pumpkin pie bars. I have to get a thing to get them out. Pumpkin pie bar. Mmm. That's pretty good. And then we got uh, these little dividers worked out pretty good. Here's our little peach uh, granola bar and there's the extra of the strawberry granola bar looks like it's holding together pretty good so we'll sample those and see how they turn out but so far so good they taste pretty good all right we put uh the bars off the tray and into these jars and uh, this is the, the pumpkin pie this is the peach granola nut and the strawberry granola nut granola i mean oat and then here's some remnants that we had we're going to sample see how they turned out and then i did a little bit of strawberries to fill the tray and then the spinach uh, to get it into a powdered form like that, you just put the spinach from the tray into a Ziploc bag like that, and then you can just crush it up into the powder. And once it's in the powder form, then you just pour it in your jar and seal it up. Keep all the moisture out. And then you can use this, uh, you know, per tablespoon into your smoothies, your green smoothies. Uh, we've done that on other videos, but Turned out pretty good. Be able to get your greens on the road in a smoothie. That's a good way to do it. So now, here it is. We'll see how it uh, turned out. First, I'll pull out the, uh, the pumpkin pie. Gotta have dessert first, right? Uh, pumpkin pie, let's see how it turned out. Mmm, it's like a Mmm. Tastes just like pumpkin pie. Because it is. And, uh, but it's like a pumpkin pie cookie. That's really good. And then, this is the peach, uh, peach oat nut. And the strawberry oat nut. Cashew nut. Um, Anyway, that, that pumpkin pie was pretty good. We need to take that on a trail as dessert for sure. Mm, okay, and this, let's see if, let's get a close up and see how this looks. 
that you see inside. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see how the the granola, or not the granola, but the oats and the nuts are mixed in with the uh, the fruit puree. Holds it together. It's just like a homemade uh, oat bar. Pretty good. Okay, this one's a strawberry. It's a little tart. Maybe add a little bit of sugar. Um, and uh, but it's really good otherwise. It's just a little tart. And this is the peach one. Yeah, the peach one's a lot sweeter. Still just a tad tart, but the whole idea is to be able to make your own, you know, granola bar that you can, your fruit bar on the trail and have oats and nut and, and fruit and eat, eat your own healthy snack. Uh, as far as the spinach is concerned here, this puree, we pureed 10 cups of green leaf uh, spinach and blended it up put it in the tray and that's that's what 10 cups of leafy greens looks like all freeze dried and put in a bag so we'll put that in our jar and reseal that for future use but all in all I think this turned out to be uh, a success um, we were able to make these they held together like I thought they would with the oats to bind it together and uh, maybe next time we'll just add a little sweetener in there to Spice them up a little bit so they're not so tart. Um, but all in all, I think it's a success. So we'll be taking these on the trail and road trips and our adventures with us. And it should be a healthy snack. So partial success or mostly a success, but right on. That's what it's all about is experimenting and seeing what works and what doesn't. Pretty pleased with how this turned out. So, all right, till next time. Oh, and I forgot one last thing. So prior to going on the trail, you can use the food saver bags and you can shrink wrap uh, however many of these you want into a little package like this. Uh, obviously you've got some extra plastic there if you're worried about weight or bulk, but we can shrink those down a little bit smaller like that, just like your own prepackaged uh, little granola bar. Anyway, this will be a great addition to the trail and we're excited to try them out on the trail when we're hungry for a snack while we're up on some mountain somewhere. Anyway, pretty cool. Thanks for watching.